Hi there. I will take you through a quick look of this drawing registry spreadsheet. We are 100% sure that this spreadsheet template will help you manage the large volume of issued drawings, which is usually the case with any type of project. You can work locally on any device, upload online to Google Sheets or Microsoft Excel and work as you go. To begin, it's always best to copy the original file and have separate files for each of your projects. Opening the file will bring up this single A3 landscape size sheet. Everything needed is on this spreadsheet. We have included an example page and an empty sheet to use as a template. The idea is to have one Excel file for each project and in that file, each spreadsheet should represent a design trade. For example, one sheet for architectural drawings, another sheet for structural design drawings, interior design, lighting design drawings etc. Before we jump in, let's go through the example spreadsheet and have a look at what's included in each section block. The project name title and design trade are displayed at the top, along with the date of the last update. This is automatically auto-filled by the program, so that we don't forget to update it ourselves. The spreadsheet itself is separated into sections. The drawings list section. The revisions and different versions for each drawing section. A section where the latest version issued for construction is displayed. And the distribution list. In the drawings list section is where we enter each drawing for this design trade separately. The drawing number. The drawing title. And a note. In this case, in the notes column we enter the design scale for each of the drawings. Now, the revision section can be a bit more complicated, but this is also the case with all construction drawings. Especially with large projects, where many design drawings are being produced, and each having various revisions at different stages of the project. This section is separated into columns, where each column is a date in the duration of a project, where drawings were issued, and represent the different version dates. At the top empty cells, we enter the actual date that a drawing was issued. Below the version date, each cell corresponds to a specific drawing on the left. In each cell, we can enter one of the three drawing status letters. C means a drawing was issued for construction and was considered final. R means the drawing was issued only for review, and X means that the drawing was cancelled. We will go through this again later in the next video, with an example, so we can better understand the functionality. As you can see, even in this small example with only 8 drawings, not all drawings were issued for construction at the same time. You can imagine how things can quickly get messy in real-life projects with hundreds of issued drawings. And this brings us to the third section. Here, the program automatically goes through the history of each drawing and populates the cells for each line, with the latest version date of each drawing that is considered final for construction. This gives us a clear picture of which drawings should be used in the complete final package, and which should be cancelled and superseded. Projects are usually developed and implemented by large teams. For this, we need to circulate and distribute all issued drawings to the relevant people, and at the meantime, keep track of what each team member has received and what not. This is the purpose of the last section, the distribution list. The list is separated into columns, where each column holds the name or company name of everyone that need to receive these drawings. Below each named column, in the cells corresponding to each drawing, we enter the date that person received an updated version. The program displays a red cell if our attention is required. For example, if the last time a team member received a specific drawing earlier than the latest final issue for construction, then the red cell warns us that we need to distribute the latest version to this person. Of course, we can always add more columns, both at the revision section and the distribution list section and we can also add more rows for the drawings list. This will again be demonstrated in the next video with an actual example. Thank you for watching. I will now pass the microphone to my colleague, who is a structural engineer and will take us through an example populating the spreadsheet.